Hey, it's good to see you. We are back in Dollar Tree and we're going to organize some of this stuff. I may get to the deodorant too. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Now first, before I touch any of this, I want you to know that there has been some issue with some of their over-the-counter medications. Um, I believe it's the ones from Assured. I just want you to know this is not an endorsement of any of these products. I'm just some middle-aged, bland-looking woman that comes into stores and organizes things. That one opens like a book. Look at that. This is not an advertisement for any of these products. All I do is come in here and try to make them look pretty. So just check out the link in the description and use your own discretion as far as buying this stuff. Um, I, and I don't remember which products in particular were affected. I don't know. Um, a whole bunch of y'all sent me this uh, information on this and I do appreciate it. Um, yeah, so this is not me advertising their products. This is me just doing this right here. This is basically all I do. Okay, see you run into this problem where you have that little space. This is ibuprofen, which is just generic Advil. 200 milligrams per tablet. They have a lot of this stuff today. Now, you get 30 of these tablets, which I think is a pretty good deal for a dollar. Let's see. They have some turned sideways back there. I'm not going to mess with that. It's been a busy day for me so far. Look at that. 200 milligrams is the standard uh, dose per tablet. Now Motrin, Motrin is the same thing. The only difference is it's made by a different company and it comes in an orange box. Motrin and Advil are the same thing. It's 200 milligrams of ibuprofen per tablet. It's just made by a different company. And then we have low dose aspirin, which is 81 milligrams per tablet. This is like Bayer low dose aspirin. There. And then I have boxes in my way. I'm going to have to kind of step over those. We have here acetaminophen and that's all it is. It is generic Tylenol, extra strength. You can tell it's extra strength because it's 500 milligrams. Regular strength Tylenol is 325 milligrams per tablet. And the standard dose is two tablets. So you're going to get a thousand milligrams in two of these or one gram. 650 milligrams in the regular strength Tylenol. Right beside that, we have Pain Relief PM. And anytime you see PM in the name, that means it's going to have dextrin, oh, sorry, diphenhydramine in it. 25 milligrams in this case. But as I pointed out before, each tablet has this amount of diphenhydramine in it. That's going to be 50 milligrams of diphenhydramine, which is a lot. I, I don't think I'd want to do that. I might take one of these and one of these so you only get 25 milligrams of diphenhydramine. You know, try that first and see how that works. Because if you're like me, if you take 50 milligrams of diphenhydramine, you feel like it affects you the next day. It leaves me feeling really groggy. This here, this is just guaifenesin. This is like mucinex. Uh, it's a decongestant. It's going to loosen the junk in your chest. You know, like the yucky stuff. It helps thin that out. 
drink a lot of water with it. It'll help it work even better. These fall over sometimes. These are like generic NyQuil liquid caps. Now these have a whole bunch of stuff in them. They have acetaminophen, Tylenol, dextromethorphan, which is um, cough suppressant, and doxylamine succinate, which is an antihistamine. And here we have headache PM. Now this is the same thing as this. The reason they have this differently, first of all, you have a different strength of um, diphenhydramine in here. You have 38 milligrams per tablet. Um, that's a lot because it's going to tell you probably to take two of these if you're an adult. That's a lot of diphenhydramine in my opinion. These only have 25 milligrams of diphenhydramine and they have again the same strength of acetaminophen, 500 milligrams. This is the same as Excedrin PM. Um, and this is the same as Tylenol PM. And again, if you're just looking for something to help you sleep, just get diphenhydramine. If you don't have any pain or anything you're worried you're dealing with, if you just need to sleep, or you could try it for your uh, allergies. But I can't take it during the day. It makes me too sleepy. And here we have cetirizine hydrochloride. That's Zyrtec. If you need some Zyrtec, there you go. 14 tablets for a dollar. Pretty cool. Oops, I forgot these. There. Here we have cold, severe cold, multi-symptom. This is daytime non-drowsy, so there's not going to be any diphenhydramine in here. You have your acetaminophen, dextromethorphan, that's your cough suppressant like Delsum, guaifenesin, that's your expectorant to loosen the stuff, it's like mucinex, phenylephrine, which is garbage, that's generic Sudafed, um, it's a nasal decongestant. You can't get um, pseudoephedrine over the counter anymore because of meth people, they have to ruin everything. Thanks, guys. You can go, in, in the USA anyway, you can go to a pharmacy. They keep it behind the counter. You just have to show them your ID and sign their little log. When they sell it, they have to keep track of who they sell it to. These are cute. Look. Little ibuprofen minis. Little baby ibuprofens. Same strength, 200 milligrams. Um, this is the actual size. Um, but you only get 10 for that price. You can also get brand name Aleve, which is naproxen sodium. Well, you're only going to get six in here. They also have generic right here. This is the generic naproxen sodium. You get 15 of these, but it's not the brand name. So, it just depends on your preference. And with the warnings now about some of their stuff I, I you know I don't I don't think I would get it here but that's just me typically I don't buy a lot of over-the-counter stuff here um, I buy it in bulk like ibuprofen I get the great big bottles at either Costco or Walmart I don't I don't really get them here because it's cheaper to get them just to get the big things of them so you can also get fexofenadine, that is generic Allegra. You can get fexofenadine with pseudoephedrine, but again, you have to go to a pharmacy and get it behind the counter. You only get three doses of this, but um, yeah, that's generic Allegra. It'd be kind of cool like if you were out of town and 
forgot your Allegra, you could just run in here and get a few to get you through for a dollar. And here you have just regular diphenhydramine. And this is just generic Benadryl. But it's the PM ingredient in any PM medication. You get 36 of them for a dollar. Although, I will say at Dollar General, you can get bottles of 100 for the same price. If you go to their dollar deals aisle, you can find those. Okay, sinus congestion and pain. Lord, that's full. That's pretty bad back there. This is acetaminophen, guaifenesin, and phenylephrine. And baby aspirin. I'm just trying to slide that up easily there. <laughs> Lots of that. And we also have daytime and nighttime stuff. Um, so you have, this is like Dayquil and Nyquil. Um, so this one doesn't have the doxylamine succinate in it, which causes drowsiness. We got Squeaky McSqueakerson on the next aisle. Hang on. Alright. Let's see. Got that. And here we have tension headache relief. Now this is just Tylenol and caffeine. This is like, um, that's an excision. Excedrin product also. Excedrin Tension Headache is like that. Each tablet is going to give you... Well, it doesn't say, does it? It doesn't say. Oh, here we go. 500 milligrams of acetaminophen and 65 milligrams of caffeine. Now, that is per tablet. Oh. Reach that. Hold on. Here we have these are rapid release gel caps, just acetaminophen, extra strength, 500 milligrams. You're only going to get 12 of those. But remember, it's only a dollar. So, I mean, it could be worse. And again, we have the naproxen sodium. Somebody with typhoid, the typhus or something is on the next aisle, and I really wish he would take his contagion somewhere else. He had a coughing fit a minute ago. I thought they were going to have to call somebody. I want him to take his cooties and go home. I haven't been sick yet, and I don't want to get sick. Sand and his reindeer are here, too, you hear them? Mucus Relief DM. Now, that DM is dextromethorphan, which is a cough suppressant, and it also has guaifenesin, which is your expectorant. Okay. And again, you're going to find your diphenhydramine labeled as a sleep aid. This is extra maximum strength, 50 milligrams. That's a lot. And then they have just regular sleep aid, which is diphenhydramine, 25 milligrams. Loperamide, that's generic Imodium, antidiarrheal, 2 milligrams, and two, uh, 12 caplets of that. And then Cymethicone, it's like Gas X, extra strength, 125 milligrams. I think the baby strength is 81 milligrams. Milk of Magnesia, yummy stuff. I'm kidding, it's terrible. And, oh, loud mommy, hang on. Let me try to fix this hydrogen peroxide. I'm just going to pull it up a little bit. It's hard to get my hand back there. Okay. All right. Now we come up here. We fixed this whole section, though. Look at that. Look how nice that looks. 
Look how pretty that is. I think it's awesome. We did great. And then we have regular. This is regular enteric coated aspirin. It's just like regular bear. 325 milligrams per tablet. You get 125 of those for a dollar. Not bad. Definitely cheaper than the brand name. And we have the cute little things of antacid. These are adorable. Look at these little things. It's like that baby Yoda. I saw a picture of that yesterday. It's the cutest little thing. <laughs> I don't even care about Star Wars. I thought that was cute. If you haven't seen it, just Google baby Yoda. Oh my God, it's precious. It's so cute. All right here we have the generic liquid Dayquil, which tastes worse than being sick does. I'd rather just deal with the sickness than taste that. If hell had a taste, it would be this stuff right here. Or, or this. It's kind of a tie. They're both awful. Pink bismuth. Alright, now this is like generic Robitussin. Uh, let's see. It's going to have mucus and chest congestion. This is actually just guaifenesin. Now, you know there are different types of um, Robitussin. Like you have Robitussin uh, DM. Now, the DM, again, means dextromethorphan. So, this should have dextromethorphan in it. It does. That's a cough suppressant. Gives you 20 milligrams of that. And 200 milligrams of um, guaifenesin. I'll make sure I put that one over here with the regular. Yep. And then we have liquid NyQuil in the generic. That has a whole host of stuff in it. Most of the time you're not going to need all this. You have to really look at your symptoms and you, if it's something you don't have, you don't need to take it. You have uh, dextromethorphan, which is your cough suppressant, acetaminophen, pain reliever, doxylamine succinate for your antihistamine. That's the stuff in it that makes you sleepy. It went down. There we go. We have some hydrocortisone cream hiding back there. At what strength is it? It is 1%. You can get a one ounce tube of that for a dollar. Pretty cool. And here we just have nighttime sleep aid. Warming berry flavor, which sounds creepy. This is just liquid di uh, diphenhydramine. That's all you got. Four ounces for a dollar. That's from Guardian. <clears throat> there we have it. Nice. Now these are kind of a pain to straighten. Oh, they have Sepacol. Cool. You can get four Arctic cherry lozenges. Sounds cool and sweet emergency ti uh, little tablets turmeric these don't stand up very well they fall you just look at them wrong and they fall this oh let's see if i can move this aspirin over a little bit and get to that here we have the apple cider vinegar tablets now with these skinny shelves i can really only do so much it's hard to reach back there because you have other stuff on the shelves as well and you just can't get back there that's about the best I can do okay there well, I think it looks better already doesn't it nice yay okay and the dreaded band-aids now these things are like psychotic dominoes yeah, barely bump them and watch what they do. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to kind of lightly manipulate them. Because they are awful. Oh, I meant to mention I have a band-aid on my finger because I was washing dishes yesterday and I, I had a knife in the sink and it cut me. <laughs> I just got this new set of knives. 
they're all they're awesome the only problem is they're way sharper than the ones I had before and I'm just I keep forgetting that I need to stop just throwing them in the sink with a bunch of soapy water because that's the third time I've cut myself with one of them um, yeah now these are really hard this is um, oxymetazoline hydrochloride 0.05% nasal spray it's like Afrin nasal spray these I can't really reach back there any further than that see my hand won't even get back there saline nasal spray oops it's uh, it's tough Mm. Okay, just a little bit of that generic carpetus. Ugh. Oh, here you have these nasal strips. These things are awful. They don't work. I wouldn't even waste your money on them. I'm only going to pull two forward because they're terrible. You can get gauze pads and they're all turned backwards. Isn't that wonderful? I'm not doing all of them. Camouflage band-aids. Well, how can you find them when you need them? <laughs> Sorry. I'm goofy. Curad. These don't stand up either. Okay, I, that's all I'm really going to do right here for now. Let's run up here to the deodorant. Oh, they have witch hazel. I didn't know they had that. Hmm. Pretty wild. I'll just grab that. Okay, I want to, um, this is the only Dollar Tree I know of. Oh, Lord. That's terrible. <laughs> I had a little boo-boo. We need to get a band-aid for it. Huh. Well, I'm going to leave it there because I don't know what else to do. This is the only Dollar Tree around here that does their deodorant this way. All the other ones have these slanted shelves with wire. And they just throw them in there like a... Like cattle. Here they actually set them on the shelf. It's more of a pain. I'm kind of surprised they do it. Now, this is some um, power stick. One, uh, two point one two five ounces. Powder fresh flavor. It says it's a bonus, but they've been this size forever. They make you think you're getting more, but you're really not. I don't think you are. You can also get um, this roll-on like this. You don't see these much. Most of the deodorants that I see are like this, the sticks. This is one of the roll-ons. Those used to be really popular back in the 80s, but you don't really see them that much. I mean, you can still find them, but you kind of have to look for them. Oops. Chest rub, what are you trying to do? 
It's hitting on my roll-on. They're just not into you. Just stop. You are not their type. You're too cool. <laughs> they don't stand up worth a darn on here, do they? You have to gently nestle them on top of the lid of the one under it. And if you're not careful, they fall. Come on now. I wasn't even going to do this stuff. This is a bonus. Oops. Hold on. Now, do you see what happens? Do you see? I probably shouldn't even do this because it's all just going to fall. Two of them fell on the floor, but I saved them. Now, don't, don't move anymore. You just sit there. Arctic ice is a lot more stable. Oh, can I? No, I can't. If I try to get them in there, they're gonna mess up the vapor rub stuff. Did you know Vicks vapor rub was invented right here in Greensboro? It was by some dude. I think he was a pharmacist. I think he had a a drug store on Elm Street downtown. Now talk about last minute gifts. This is for somebody that you absolutely hate. So first of all, you didn't remember to get them anything. And second of all, you're shopping for them at Dollar Tree. Although you can get beard wash. This is cool. I've never seen this before. Beard wash. Shave gel. And aftershave. Huh. Oh, wait a minute. No. That's beard balm. Go back there. Beard balm. Beard and stubble. Aftershave. Beard. I'm trying to get as many up here as I can. Beard wash. Now we're all in our places with bright, shiny faces. That's better. Look how pretty that is. Look at that. We're getting into that time of year where everybody is sick. I'm surprised more people haven't come over here while I was doing this. Brute deodorant. Brute revolution. In my experience, brute revolutions don't smell good. Now these are 2 ounces, but you can get the same thing in 2.25 ounces for the same price. This one's bigger. I'm going to just put it by itself. I do that sometimes. They'll change the size on you without saying anything and then later they will re-release the smaller size and make you think you're getting more but you're not you're just getting what you used to get for the same price those are smaller they put the big one right there and then we have ultramax fresh flavored deodorant this is only one ounce it's really light fresh These are all fresh. Sometimes they have um, Ultramax baby powder uh, scent. These look like they're all fresh. An army of freshness. Just gonna hit this really quick. There's the avalanche flavor. How horrible. Avalanches are scary. You know, you see those in a movie. That's the part where the dramatic music starts playing and 
you know, there's usually a wolf somewhere nearby and it's running and they do all these fast cuts from one scene to another. I don't want to wear a deodorant that reminds me of that. You can get Yes to blue, Super Blueberries masks. It's an eye mask. This is regular flavor. This sounds more calming to me. The older I get, the more I just appreciate regular things. You can even get Irish Spring Original flavor. This is Speed Stick. Okay. Cool, clean flavor. Hold on. Okay. There's a very excited little boy over there. It's actually pretty funny. He kept picking up stuff and saying, I'm a Titan, I'm a Titan. And then he goes, I can pick up as much as I know. <laughs> it's actually really cute. Okay, we have these go over here. This is Invisible Dry Power from Lady Speed Stick. Now, those are different. These are actually roll-ons, Fresh Fusion. What if we do two rows of those? These are hard because they have that little roll-on thing at the top. So, they're a little, they take up more space. They're back there having a little meeting. Look at them. That's full. I can't do a whole lot about it. Except make a mess. Okay. Alright, those are just going to have to be in in the back. Okay, now we have Invisible Dry. This is Powder Fresh. Hmm. Okay, there we go. I tried this kind one time, and it has, it says on here, no white marks. It put white marks all over my shirt. It did. I never used it again. I just threw it away. Went back to my secret or degree or whatever I bought next. They have a lot of it. But I do not recommend this deodorant. It says that it doesn't leave marks. It totally does. Yeah, don't even mess with it. There's a lot of it back there. Good grief. Okay. And then we have... This is... um wild freesia flavor wild freesia there's some more way back there wild freesia there we go oh no that's this one that goes there and then we have aftershave fresh scent and original scent all right this is going to be about the last thing i do Everybody keeps coming down this aisle. They have blue flavor and green. And these bottles fall over easily. There we go. Alright. Well, we got, we got two sections done over here. I think that looks really good. And then over here, we got a lot done. Look how pretty that looks. It's really nice. So thank you so much for hanging out with me and helping me with this. I think we did really great. I'll see you again really soon.